Forza Italia. What a win against Scotland at the weekend. How can they back that up? What an emotional drain that must be. And they've got to go to Wales now, to Cardiff. And they could still potentially be, be the wooden spoon winners. Winners. Oh, hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the championship. So hit subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. And today I'm going to be looking at what I think that Italian team is going to be to face Wales this coming Saturday in Cardiff. OK, just a quick review of how they played against Scotland. Scotland were wild and frenetic and played some brilliant rugby and scored a lot of good points. It looked like Italy at times were really struggling to hold on, but they played some great rugby themselves, scored some brilliant tries as well and just battled back into the game, tackled like demons and got the win. Elko and myself analysed that one in depth. We'll put the link to it up there. Go and check that one out if you haven't already. It's a really good episode. Now, some squad updates. None, as far as I know. Recording this Sunday evening. I don't think anybody got injured in the game on Saturday. I don't recall it anyway. So please correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any squad changes uh, that I'm not aware of. Okay. I mean, just generally, as I said in the intro there, the big thing for Italy here is, are they going to be able to come back? Are they going to be able to get an emotional high again after what must have been an ecstatic moment after the victory against Scotland. That's going to be the big question. It was a brilliant performance. They performed well this championship, I think, aside from the Ireland game where they didn't really turn up. They performed admirably. And this is going to be a big moment for them and this team. Can they back that up? Can they back up that performance? And importantly, the win with another one this weekend because it is vitally important. OK, let's look at the forwards that I think will go into this game. OK, guaranteed to keep their places. I think one through seven all played fantastically well and should keep their spots. Vincent was a little bit quiet, more quiet than he has been in previous games. So with Lorenzo Canoni now back fit and having come off the bench and done well, there's a question mark there whether, you know, the real experience and grunt of Canoni will come in ahead of the pace and exuberance of Vincent, who, you know, might be able to add that later in the game when it's more important. Just in terms of the physicality here, you know, Italy have got a seven-day turnaround, Wales have got a six-day turnaround, and Wales have played against that enormous French pack. So I was thinking about maybe swapping a few people in here to keep things fresh. But really, I think these guys should be fresher than their Welsh equivalents. So I'm happy to go with them again. I think it's the strongest lineup um, that is currently available. So let's go with that. And I do think they'll go with Canoni. Real experience number eight, and at his best, is an absolute ball-carrying menace. And Negri had a couple of big carries this last weekend, and it makes a massive difference when you've got somebody you can really rely on to bash through holes when there's no space. So another big performance needed from this Italian pack onto the backs now. And I think this is their best lineup. I think this is now looking very settled. Menoncello and Brex in the midfield were supreme against Scotland. Menoncello might be the best centre in the world at the moment. Genuinely, his ball carrying is absolutely insane. He whacks people in the tackle every single time. He's such a physical beast and he's got handling, handling skills and running lines. Um, you know, a, a w absolute world-class player. And, and Brex was a man of the match as well next to him. Then you've got Garbisi, who was dominating in the air and, you know, running the game at the line. You've got Ioani, who was dangerous on the wing. Liner, try on debut and just so much energy that he brought. The braveness of Capuazzo. We didn't see his running skills so much in this game, but man, he defended well at fullback. And Pajarello, again, I just think he's one of Italy's better players now. He's just come in and he's got he's got pace about him. He's got strength and his service is generally good. He had a couple of dodgy moments against Scotland, the intercept uh, and one or two others, but also a great short kicking game that led to the try, the first try, really important first try uh, by Ignacio Brex, who uh, gathered the ball by the post to dive over. So I think this is their best back line without any question, and they definitely should be starting again this weekend in Cardiff. On to the bench. 
The big question is whether to go 5-3 or 6-2. I guess that's always the big question nowadays. Wales tend to go 5-3. Wales don't have a huge amount, you know, in international rugby schemes. They don't have a huge amount of power. So I don't see any reason to go back to a 6-2, which Italy have done previously. Uh, so that leaves basically the same Vincent swapping in for Canoni. And this has a really nice balance to it. And a lot of these guys came on on Saturday against Scotland and made a real positive difference. Okay, summing this one up, delighted for Italy to get that win against Scotland. It was clearly huge. Packed out Olympic Stadium in Rome, all those fans there to get a performance like that, to just stick in the game for as long as they did and get the win in the end was absolutely outstanding for them. Now is the big challenge. Now is the real big challenge for them. Can they get those emotional levels back up to where they need to be to go to Wales and dominate because they probably should be looking to go there and definitely dominate if they're going to stand a chance of winning this young Welsh team who've you know impressed in many ways themselves. But if they can get into them, if Italy can impress their game on Wales, then they should certainly be thinking that they're going there to win. OK, that's what I think. What do you think at home? Tell me about this Italian team. Tell me why they're going to go and win in Cardiff. Do you think these are the right players that I've picked? Do you think these are the players that Casada's going to pick? Let me know in the comments down below. And if there's something I'm missing, again, please let me know. I'm learning as much as, I, as I'm talking here. So it's great to learn from you guys down there. And um, yeah, while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, it helps other people find it. And you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And do not forget to get out and play.